okay so now we are going to talk about the next stage okay till now we have discussed two stages infancy and childhood isn't it we have discussed two stages infancy and childhood now you know when the child moves from childhood to next stage so that stage is known as what children that stage is known as adolescence what it is known as adolescence this is o okay this is o okay so we have discussed infancy from birth to 2 years then we have discussed childhood that is from 2 years to 12 years okay then after 12 years where the child goes in which stage so after 12 the child comes under the category of what this stage is known as what children it is known as adolescence now in this stage also children the development is very fast okay the development is very fast but then the development is of different uh, type okay which kind of development can be seen in this stage the sexual maturity okay a child attains you know uh, the sexual characteristics uh, start you know uh, it becomes visible okay so that changes comes in the children so we are talking first of all about the adolescence i if i have to define then how i am going to define this i can say the transition okay the transition from where children the transition from which stage before this we were talking about which stage we were talking about childhood isn't it so how can i write the period the period of transition okay the period of transition from childhood to adulthood a d u l t is called as okay the period of transition from childhood to adulthood is known as for children it is known as adolescence okay that means what age group will come here children that means the one who comes under the category from 12 years to 18 years or 19 years okay now so this age group is from where children from which year from 12 years to 19 years but according to who okay the who has declared this age from where from 11 years to 19 years okay they have declared from what from 11 years to 19 years okay so the children who belongs to which age children from above 12 and bit like 12 to 19 they come under this category actually you know the teen this stage the stage of teens also is covered in adolescence so the one who is between this uh, age group you know they are also known as those children the those children where, where, uh, who are under this uh, age group so they are also known as what children teenagers you might have heard many a times you know oh, he is a teen so he doesn't he won't understand isn't it one thing which i was discussing in the childhood you know like the child wants to be with the parent isn't it he feels more secure with the parents that is not with the adolescent children in adolescence the child wants to be more with the friend he understands the language of friends okay whatever the parents the teacher will say you know they avoid that they feel more comfortable they feel more you know like uh, uh, they 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 just want the feeling comes you know like uh, they are quite mature they can take their own decisions they can you know they understand everything so all these characteristics can be seen in teenagers okay and what they do not you know they will avoid going along with the parents hmm? what they will uh, where they will move around they will always love to be with their friends in their friend circle in their groups 
okay even if you know want to go out somewhere you know for having some uh, on Sundays or some holidays want to hang around so they will always prefer the groups of their friends okay so that is a big difference now what are the that, that also we are going to read in detail but first of all So, what is the special characteristic of this student? So, during this period, during this period, the child attends sexual maturity. Okay, just now which I have discussed like sexual characters, okay, the sexual maturity can be seen in the boy, boys and the girls both, okay. Now, if we talk about maturity, okay, so as in the same way like as I told that in infancy or in childhood, you know see every person is different, every individual is different, isn't it? Likewise, the characteristics which can be seen in a girl and a boy or in the groups of girls and the boys will be different. You know girls will show uh, maturity just uh, in the earlier period ok. The adolescence can be seen in the girls in early period but the boys the maturity can be seen ok in the uh, later on after like the girls can show maturity uh, before 1 and 2 years than the boys ok. So, what is adolescent children when the transition takes place that means when the child comes from or when the child is between from 12 to 19 this period is known as adolescence ok. Now obviously like many other things also comes under this. So, now actually by the WHO this period uh, the period assigned to this stage is 11 to 19. What else I told that teens or teenagers are included in this stage. What happens? What is the special characteristic of this age or this stage? Sexual maturity. Okay, the child attains sexual maturity. Okay, so and again one more point which I discussed that this maturity can differ in girls and in boys girls will show this characteristics maybe one or two years before than the boys ok and even there can be difference between the maturity between the two girls ok one girl can sh you know uh, can in the one girl the maturity period can be like you know it can be in the later stages. So, it depends upon person to person it depends from uh, you know it differs in girls and in the boys. So, now we will talk about something like which is just related to this only. Now, I will write about puberty. Okay. So, now I am talking about puberty. What this means? This is the stage when the child you know uh, child develops like he uh, becomes biological ready to become father or mother. I am saying biological please note this. Huh? So, a person becomes biologically ready to become father and or mother ok. What does it mean children when I am saying that when a child or when a person becomes biologically ready? It means children that in males the testes have started developing sperms ok. In males the testes have started developing the sperms. I am not explaining over here testes and sperms because this has already been explained to you in the previous chapter. This one is already discussed in the previous chapter ok. So, and in females the ovary starts releasing the egg ok. In females the ovary starts releasing egg generally one egg is released uh, every month ok. So, we will talk about that 
in detail later. So, first of all, we will talk about puberty. What is puberty, children? A time, okay, a stage when the child becomes biologically ready to become father or mother. That means that sexual characteristic has developed in that child. Okay, now he is grown up. Okay, his body has biologically he is uh, certain characteristics he has got developed in. Hmm? Now, again, you know the hormones. Okay, the hormones have also started working in his body, isn't it? Be that also we are going to talk separately about. So, first of all, if I want to define puberty. So, how can I define puberty children? This is a stage when a child, when a person I should write or when the body ok, this is a stage, this is a stage when the body attains sexual maturity. Okay, when the body attains sexual maturity and what else children and is capable of reproduction. Okay, so what is this children? This is a period, this is a stage when the sexual development takes place in the person, okay, in the body and the, the person becomes like biologically he can reproduce, okay, the biologically he can reproduce, okay. So, what is the main characteristic of this? See, in adolescence what happened? This is a transition period. That means which age children from the age of 12 to 19 comes under the category of what adolescence. Now, now when we talk about, so what is there? It is all about what children? Sexual development, okay. The different different features which can be seen in the girls and the different features which can be seen in the boys. The characteristics which you know which differentiate both the uh, like with the, the characteristics which differentiates male with the female or female with the male. So, all those characteristics get developed in this stage, in this period, okay. You might have observed children like uh, if we talk about infancy, hmm? if we talk about the of a child who is like you know maybe take the example of two months of a child, a child who is of two months. You cannot understand just by looking face that the particular child is girl or boy. They look, you know, they look uh, almost same. But as you grow up, the differences appears in the body structure, isn't it? So, what are the differences, children? What are the different characteristics which you know appears in the males, and what are the features which can be seen in the females? So that we are going to talk about now. So, we will talk about all the characteristics which uh, can be seen in the boys and girls or what are the changes which can be seen in this period of time. Okay? So, what we will be discussing? We will be discussing certain changes which can be seen in the puberty. Okay? So, what is the first characteristic children? First is increase in height. Okay. So, what we are talking about? We are talking about certain changes, certain features which can be seen in this stage of growth in a person. Okay. So, first of all the first point which I am talking about is increase in height. You will see, you might have observed okay, and you might be knowing that in this period the uh, height increases like anything. 
okay again i'll tell you one thing the girls they show uh, like their height increases you know in the earlier stages of puberty as soon as a girl enters in puberty stage the uh, height you know there's a burst in like the height increases and after like you no know, in the boys this increase in height cannot be observed but later on this increase in height can be observed in the boys also and rather it increases more than the girls anyhow at the age of 18 till the age of 18 or 19 total maturity is uh, you know gained the height whatever height a child a person has to be it comes till the age of 18 after that no growth uh, can be seen especially height wise no growth can be seen height wise so why this growth happens children what happens in this puberty age actually the <coughs> the length of the bones it increases okay the length of the bones of the hands and the legs it increases and you know that is the uh, uh, reason this period is also known as growth spurt okay growth spurt period means what a sudden growth a sudden growth can be seen okay a sudden growth can be seen in this uh, period see after you become 18 okay and uh, if you do not meet your friend suppose a person two person who are above 18 okay they have seen each other at the age of 18 19 maybe when they passed out their college okay uh, the school life and if they meet after 2 3 years 4 years also they won't be able to find they will be finding difference no doubt but not actually uh, at least height wise difference they won't be uh, getting they won't be able to find but if you uh, have you no know, uh, a friend of yours whom you have not seen after 8 standard and suddenly if you one fine day if he come across if he is there in front of you and you are there at that time in college so you will find a difference obviously isn't it because this is the stage when the growth takes place when the height increases a lot whatever growth whatever is you know the final growth has to be there can be seen in the puberty so what is that children the growth the height increases in this period the first change the first change which is for increase in height so there is increase sudden increase in height of both boys and girls girls may show increase in height uh, earlier then boys but later on boys uh, they become more taller than the girls second point third point whatever maturity whatever characteristics are there like it can be seen till the age of 18 these changes can be seen till 18 after 18 you cannot see increase in height why does it happen children it happens due to the increase in the length of the bones of the arms and the legs okay so we'll write about this and then we will talk about few more characteristics in the same point okay so what we are talking children i am teaching you first of all now what i am teaching children i am talking about increase in height and what is this these are like what we are talking about we are talking about few characteristic features okay few characteristic features which can be seen in the teens few changes which can be seen in the teens okay so what are the changes what are the things uh, okay what are the developments which can be seen in the teens in this i am discussing the first point increase in height okay so there is a sudden increase in height and so this period is also known as growth spurt okay so first point there is sudden increase in height and so 
this period can be known as growth spurt okay so what is the children first of all increase in height okay the increase in height can be seen now why it can be seen children this happens due to increase in the bones of arms and legs so like what is happening children here the increase in height can be seen and why does it happen this happens because there is increase in the uh, like what bones which bones bones of the arms and the bones of the legs okay so now this is very important point that uh, bone size get increased one more very important point children now you know this whatever we are learning is very true but again as i told you i'm telling this point again again children that whatever characteristics we are talking about we are talking broadly 99% the things happens in this way but one person it can be different isn't it depending upon the person to person so in the same way like uh, if we talk about you know it, the height depends upon the genes also so uh, like it also depends upon if the person you know he suffers from some disease uh, which can block the height in the growing period okay if the child suffers from certain disease okay or maybe he is ill very often so again it blocks it hampers the height okay then second thing the height also depends upon the genes so let me write upon uh, let me write this height also depends upon the genes genes i think you all are very clear we have read in one of the chapter in the structure of the cell okay so these genes are responsible for the transfer of hereditary characteristics isn't it genes are responsible for transfer of hereditary characteristics from one generation to another isn't it just a short to more one two line i will talk about this like you look like your parent okay or you look like your maybe one of your sibling that is because why children because you have got genes from your parents isn't it so that genes are as you have got from your parents so you show some similarity with your parents isn't it sometimes so much of similarity can be seen like by seeing uh, a child only we can say oh he is her son or he is his son isn't it maybe the hair are same both the structure of hair is exactly same maybe curly maybe the skin color maybe the eye color so why the similarity is there with the parents because of the genes and what are gene children genes are the hereditary character like the transfer of traits okay Tran traits means what children transfer of characteristics which kind of characteristics maybe of same hair maybe skin color so all these characteristics get transferred from one generation to another generation due to the presence of what genes okay so so now we are talking about increase in height this is the first characteristic feature which we are discussing about we are talking about the changes which takes place in this stage okay so why uh, so much of height increases because the bones increase the arms and legs bone increase sudden change in height is seen and so this period is also known as growth spurt period that means lot of growth can be seen in this period one this point also i have written that height also depends upon the genes okay so it depends from 
this increase in height ok increase in height differs from person to person ok increase in height differs from person to person ok some can show this in the early puberty stage and some can show in the later puberty stage ok so this was about the first characteristic increase in height there is sudden increase in height ok and why is it so because the bones increases in size which bones may be hands and legs ok so there is sudden increase in the height of the person or the uh, children who belong to this group ok now that means teenagers they show the like they uh, the height get increased this is a first very point this is a first characteristic feature of this stage ok. So, now we will talk about the next point ok before uh, moving to the next point uh, one more thing I would like to tell you children that you know nowadays you people depend more upon junk food is not it to have junk food uh, like there is uh, no problem children in having junk food that is not an issue, but to avoid uh, balanced diet is a problem. Once a while if you have junk food it is ok, but even balanced diet cannot be neglected you need to have balanced diet that also we are going to discuss in detail, but here one more point can be written that the height or the growth ok growth in any way it also depends upon the diet. So, diet has to be taken care of balanced diet is very very essential a uh, uh, child who is in this stage he you know he needs to uh, be given lot of carbohydrates proteins vitamins ok. So, that he can the body can get proper nutrients and by absorbing all these nutrients the body can show proper growth ok. So, please note this down and then we will talk about the second feature ok. So, this one is the first one now we are going to talk about the second characteristic feature.